got another haul. I don't know whether to include it in my Friday sale, like what I'm up to this week, or to go ahead and make it something separate. I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, might be, but maybe both. We'll see. But I got a thing from the shipping company. I'm gonna try not to make a lot of noise on. All right. I don't even remember what I ordered. But it's a rainy day in Jamaica. And when I get packages, it's almost like Christmas. I waited a while before I opened it up. I picked it up yesterday, but I waited until today. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, so I, I ordered this one, McCall's 8145 because of this cross pattern. Um, I've been looking for something. I bought some navy and off-white uh, heavy lace, stretch lace material from Fabric Mart. And all this time I've been looking for something that would showcase it. And I think I found it. All right, I'll keep you posted. Okay. Oh, now this one is by Sandra Petsina. It's Vogue 1610. And it looks like a kimono. I just came off of making two kimonos. Maybe I'll include them over here. If you don't see them, maybe I went on vacation. <laughs> and I was so in love with the idea of a kim the kimono. Uh, and I do have a kimono. My, br my brother lives in Japan and sent me. But I like this shape. Let's see if you can see the line drawing right there real simple but i really liked this contrast between this blue and white and you know love when vogue goes on sale <laughs> all right and this next one is vogue 1841 and this is another jumpsuit y'all i don't know i'm starting to think it's a sickness because how many jumpsuits do i own goose egg how many jumpsuit patterns have i bought i don't know i have a whole section in my in my patterns so i have an entire section with jumpsuits i've been buying them since the 80s and the thing about jumpsuits the ones i really tend to like you have to be able to get out of them i'm at the age now i cannot be messing around in the bathroom if I have to go to the bathroom, I don't. Ha I can't be stuck in my clothes. So the jumpsuits can't have a zipper in the back. And I don't know, something about having to take all of your clothes off to go to the bathroom. And then you don't want your jumpsuit to touch the floor because you made it in some fly fabric. I don't know, it's a dilemma, y'all. I'm thinking of this jumpsuit hack that I, um, that I got from making a Vogue dress last month and the month before, I have two of them. And I'm thinking of a hack, and I, I, I'll let you know, I'm gonna try and put it together. But in the meantime, I thought this was really nice. And I have the material for it too, but I'm looking at it and I'm wondering how you get in and out of it. Does it say anything about a zipper? There's an invisible zipper. Now look, if there's an invisible zipper in the front, this might work, we'll see. All right, and I like this. Very easy, very Vogue. The back interest is what I liked. I like the A in the front. It looked cool and easy. It's Vogue 9237. Um, I liked it because it looked like it could go with sneakers, sandals, heels. It had everything. And I like this because of the two-tone fabric. I really do, and the gather in the back. You know, I love myself some gathering. I do. I love myself some gathering. And I like the way this presents. That's a perfect place for necklaces and accessories. And I'm, I'm in. All right. Oh, and this next one. I've been looking at it for a long time, but I finally just alley-ooped and got it. This is Vogue 9345. And here is the line drawings. I'm attracted to this one with the serious sleeves here because I love dresses that drop in soup and um, when I'm washing <laughs> and stuff, but I do like it. I'm not exactly sure it says it's for me, 
See that little rectangle down there? It says it's for me, but I'm not sure. But I like it. I, I, I think it might be okay. Um, I'll keep you posted. Um, I forgot to say, all of these blouses are 60 inch uh, material requirements and they look like they're two and five eighth yards. The top I wanna make is A, as we, I talked about before, takes two and five eighths at the, at the maximum, but it doesn't, it's not too much difference, two and an eighth all the way down to a size six. So from a six to a 24, there's only like a half a yard difference. All right, we'll see. Now this um, dress requires for me, because I have to blend it because I'm not large on top. So I could wear a 14 or 16 on top, but I need a 22 for my waist. And then my hips are narrow. It's really, it's definitely Apple uh, territory. Um, so anywhere from a four and five eighths for 45 inch material and three and five eighths, I tend to be a four yard minimum buyer. It's a legacy handed down to me from my um, late mother-in-law. And she was like, you, you, uh, I don't know if I can do the Jamaican accent. You know, you can't buy less than four yards. <laughs> and I used to say, I believe you, I believe you, mom. <laughs> now this one takes two yards whether it's 45 inches or 60 inches. Hmm. Oh, there's a contrast. Another yard for the contrast on the back there. But I, I like the idea of this. I think this is gonna be very fun. Now, if you're making the whole dress with no contrast, it's three and one quarter uh, yards uh, for 45 inch material and two and three quarter yards of 60 inch material. And I'm looking forward to this. I like it, I like it. Oh, now the jumpsuit that I liked with this takes 45 inches, it takes six and quart, one quarter yards of the 45 inch material and four and a quarter yards of the 60 inch material. And there's also lining involved. All right, there's a lot of things over here. It is facile, it's not plus difficile. They mean it when they say plus difficile. All right, and this kimono, it's Sandra Betsina sizes, which is A through J. So you have to read the, um, the pattern envelope to figure out what she means by J. And so that's always a little tricky for me. I have to figure it out because I'm, an, I'm in between an E and an F for the bust, for the waist, I'm, I'm up near an H. And for the hip, I'm right back down here at an E because I'm an apple, right? I'm very short-waisted. There's no, hardly any difference between my bottom of my ribs and my pelvis bone. There's like no space. So um, this is gonna take, the kimono is four and an eighth for a 45 inch material and three and one quarter um, inch. There's underlining, all right? So there's underlining. So there's gonna be, an, you're gonna need another material as well. Uh, it says easy to sell. It says something that's for beginners. Well, I like Sandra, so we'll see. Now, first of all, as I hang my head in shame, I am heading on vacation and I'm hoping to buy a few pieces of fabric, but I had some other, sh um, I went to Ping's, my favorite, well, the only fabric store in Mandeville. And, um, but they always have something interesting. And I also ordered from Fabric Mart. So I'll show you what I got and kind of tell you what I thought I would make from it. Right, I'm gonna try not to crinkle too much. I know that's an irritating sound. All right. I found this at Ping's for, it's 450 it's about $3 and something cents a yard. It's about 60 inches wide. It felt very farm Rio to me. And um, it's uh, it feels a little stiff at the moment, but I haven't had a chance to pre-wash it yet. It's still in the bag, but I think it's gonna be lovely. I'm gonna make one of those really huge dresses with tears and ruffles and all that kind of stuff. All right, and they still had some more if I'm short. I hope by the time I get back in two weeks, 
I was very interested in this. This is from the clearance section. This is a dollar something a yard. It's about 60 inches wide. And the material has this crinkle. And oh, I wanna make a summer top out of that. So that's why I picked that up and the color because these beautiful colors, these saturated colors are in for this um, season. Um, I, I'm willing to take a chance on it. I, I don't really make trendy stuff anyway. My stuff is just loud <laughs> and vivid. Now this suiting is in this beautiful, oh, it's this beautiful kind of uh, linen type of suiting, but it's not linen, it's not. But this mint color, I wouldn't even call it mint, it is pale, pale, pale turquoise. I wanna make one of those uh, jacket and uh, pant, com this pant suits that are in this season, in these uh, really delicious colors and everything. I've been seeing all these people show up for interviews and everything on television and they're wearing the tangerine and the pink and the stuff. And I thought, this is my kind of contribution. I don't mind wearing the top. I don't know if I wanna make the uh, sandwich badge pants. It's shorts, you know, the ones where it's ruffled because that would emphasize my waist. And I don't think that's that's gonna work for me. So I got this off the clearance rack, also a dollar something a yard. And I got five and a fourth because I knew I wanted to make a suit. And then I bought this delicious black material from off the same clearance because it felt like the exact weight. See how it's so sheer? I thought it'd be a wonderful, either a lovely delicate blouse, but I really wanted to use it as a lining for this suit that I kind of want to make. I saw this lady at the restaurant with an unbelievable tropical print and it was in a curved jacket and a pair of um, slim pants and she was wearing some Louboutins. It was beautiful. And ever since then, I've been looking at some of my Ankara fabric that's really, really vibrant. What Ankara fabric is not vibrant, <laughs> but I wanted to make, recreate that suit. Now as for Fabric Mart, I've never been disappointed with something I've bought from them. Um, I try and scroll, scroll through all the images that they have. My favorite is the little image where they throw the fabric over a, uh, a pedestal table. And so you can kind of see how large the prints are. And they're, they're very good. They, they'll always have, a um, if it has a repeat or a motif, they will lay it on flat and they will use a ruler, a yardstick, so you can get an idea of get an idea of the size because that's the tricky part about buying fabric on hand that you didn't touch and feel and you can't quite figure out how it is. So I took a chance on some of these. So we shall see. Okay, this is the first one. And this is, it's described as dark moss, green sage, 100% rayon, abstract print, chalet, Michael Stars. Oh, $3 a yard, gentle wash. I bought four yards. And this is a recent buy, so it should still be in there. But isn't that beautiful? It's a mint and kind of a an olive green khaki. And I have to admit, when I saw it on, um, on uh, Fabric Mart's website, I thought it was the, uh, the caramel color. I thought this was cream, but it's not. It's a light green. It's beautiful. Once again, they do not disappoint because it was their sale day, two, three, four dollar a yard. And I always shop those because I love the challenge. I'm not, I'm not sewing for necessity, y'all. I'm sewing for the delight of it. All right. And, oh, and they only had one yard of this left. And it's called Muted Black Pacific Blue Forest Green, 100% polyester floral print. They only had one left, but you know I can do a one yard uh, blouse. <laughs> so I thought this was very pretty, very spring, right? So it's enough. 
It's on a blue background. It says muted matte and blue, but I think it's beautiful. All right, this one was $3 a yard also. Now I can see this next one. I was curious about this one. I was curious. Oh, I see what they're saying. They didn't have, they only had one yard left. Fabric Mark will contact you if your order is not going to be 100%. Oh, I think I ordered about four yards of this. It's a blue and white stripe with these embroidered roses on here. I just thought it was gonna be lovely to make a, a crisp shirt with. I can't do that with one yard. I think this is gonna take some finagling. I feel sleeveless coming on. <laughs> oh, that's a little disappointing. But they did, I, I think they did email me to tell me that they didn't have any more of this. All right. Now, sorry, I'm trying not to crinkle. All right, now, this is Antique Brown Micro Polyester Spandex Active Wear Knit. Um, I bought four yards of this because I thought I could use it for all kinds of things underneath my clothes because my color brown, when it comes in, I gotta get after it, okay? So it'd be good for um, athletic wear. Um, um, I have a dress that has this kind of material holes you underneath while the other dress floats above it. And that's what made me think of getting it when I saw it. Because sometimes you think, oh, brown knit, what am I gonna do with it? Well, if you're brown, it's a good thing to use for under things. Now, this is the one I'm most excited about because I saw it and I thought, what are you gonna make with this? All right, now let me find the description and then you can see what the Icarus is going on. <laughs> This is called Daisy White Light Gray and Black, 100% polyester, double border, scalloped laser. It was $3 a yard, dry clean. All right, so here it is on one side. This is the border, y'all. Like I said, what the Icarus am I gonna do with this? But, I'm so very excited. Can't you see this on a sleeve? Can't you see this on the bottom of a dress? <gasps> Come on now. Come on now. $3 a yard for this masterpiece? Oh, I got some vision. I can figure it out. So the scallop is on both sides. It's on this side. And it's on this side. I'm going to think on it. I don't want to rush myself. But I was intrigued. I saw it on the sale thing and I thought, ooh, that, that feels like a statement. That feels like a statement. Well, that's it for my fabric haul. Um, Pings uh, never disappoints, uh, but I, I know it's hard for y'all to come out to Jamaica and shop there. <laughs> and, but Fabric Mart is online. And uh, if you see something you like, buy it because before you know it, it'll be gone. I saw this for several months, waited too long, but I'm going to make something with it. We'll see. All right. So y'all take care. Have fun out there in the maker space. We'll see you soon.